Uh, epic battle, epic battle. No hole. I was so scared for a second. Where you going, man? Kill all these guys for me, homie. Kill them. What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slip Gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Cross shot and the, playing a little Ark Survival Evolved. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really great day. We are going to be doing some cool stuff and things today. You know, we need to get some more base stuff done. You know what I did off camera? I moved all my stuff down into the vaults. Look at it all. This is all, and look how much extra space we've got in here already. So, and I kind of organized stuff. This is the stuff vault, but really, what it is is it's wood thatch. Uh, fiber, stone, flint, and hide. Uh, and unprocessed metal. I only had a little bit. This is the things vault. And you can see in here we've got chitin, charcoal, obsidian, drugas. Some metal, some different stuff and things. This is tools. All the tools and weapons and armor. All of that stuff's going to go in here now. Then over in here, we got structures. Yeah. We've got saddles. Yeah. We've got all the blueprints. So we're way, way, way more organized. I put the, the uh, other things in there too. And we've emptied out all this stuff. All these things are empty. Because if you remember, we're going to make this into our little... Uh, oh, that, actually, this is an empty crap hole. i got to empty that. So you know what we're going to do real quick? We're going to make a little storage thing for just for a momento. Well, actually, here's what we can do. We can just do this. We can just move it into one of the vaults. Um, but today we're going to tear all this down and rebuild it all. I don't like rebuilding. It's not my favorite thing to do. But I think that this is something that we should do because we need to rebuild stuff and things. That's, I mean, what, you know, that's the way it goes. So we'll stick that over here into this vault for now. We'll, we'll start off with gas and then we'll know anything below the gas is what we got to pull out here and put back in the fabricator and in the cooking pot. So there. Nail the dice that can't be stopped. And actually, just for now... Is this our weapons and storage? Tools and weapons? We'll just squirt these arrows in here, too. And that's going to allow us to just carry a little bit more of stuff and things as we're doing this. So, oh, we need a little bit of water. But, yeah. Also, I want to take a second and say thank you guys so much for all your support on the ARC videos. Continues to be a thing that just kind of really blows my mind, guys. Like, it is a mind equals blown. And um, I just can't tell you how much I thank you very much. And, yeah, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Oh, I got to tell you something else. Yeah, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. Again, the other day you guys did it, and we got... I asked for some likes. We got 15,000 likes. It's the most I've ever gotten a video. It was unbelievable, man. It was so cool. So, yeah, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Over here, you can see... There's no number two. Number two is gone. And, uh, yeah, he's gone, gone. Um, what ended up happening was an Argentavis, for some reason, I have no idea how, a wild one. I was out here working, moving stuff, and he was just right here. All of a sudden, I heard the, the music. Everything was getting attacked. And Beak Hole, uh, Air Force 1-8 was down over by Feller. Beak Hole and number two started going nuts. They were doing their zooming thing around him, and they killed him. And then they went, like, in two different directions. I didn't see where they went. They just went out. I found Beak Hole out in the ocean here, um, and then when I was out here, I actually found two of the stupid pigeons were out here, too. So I found two stupid pigeons out in the ocean, and I found Beak Hole, thank God, because he's like, you know, he's our guy. He's like, what, level 127 now? He's BA. But number two, I can't find him. Then I didn't see a death message. I don't believe he's dead. Oh, there's some of those dumb guys. I flew all around this whole area looking for him, and... I have no idea. I have no idea where he went. I looked in the water. I looked in the cliffs. I looked in the woods. I looked all around. This is almost like a Dr. Seuss uh, thing, but it didn't It didn't uh, rhyme. I looked on the ground. I cannot find him in the tree. He cannot find it with me. That was terrible. All right, anyway, I can't find him. That's the end of the story. So um, what we're going to do today, though, is we're going to get a little bit more organized. We're going to finally get our hangar. And then having our hangar set up is going to make th some things a little bit easier as far as we probably won't see our flyers getting attacked. This is going to be our hangar. We're going to tear all these down, and then we're going to rebuild. Did I just hear somebody move around? Oh, God. We're going to rebuild all this thing, and then we're also going to set trackers on all of our dinos. Um, I'm thinking that we really need to do that. So, yeah, we got a big day planned. I'm going to come up over here. Thankfully, we're going to get a huge amount of our resources back from tearing this stuff down. But, uh, yeah, the first part of the day going to be demolishing. Let's do this.
And we're back, and yeah, here we go. Finally, we're gonna be able to replace these walls. And the whole reason we didn't have these in before is because they were blocked by um, the two, uh, well, some of the crafting stuff and things that were in here. Oh, you know what? We didn't destroy this. We didn't destroy this guy. We need to destroy the industrial grill as well. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, there's no gas in there. Oh, there's tons of spoiled meat. Sweet, that's cool. I like spoiled meat. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and demolish that guy as well. Look, oh, that thing's expensive. Um, our preserving bins for now we're going to leave because I'm not sure how we're going to lay this all out. Let's put it on the floor. Not sure how we're going to lay this all out over here. So, um, all right, let's go over. Let me see here. Uh, no, all this stuff can go inside of here. Like so. One of these, one of these, one of these, one of those. And that cementing paste, well, actually, we'll take that and squirt it over here is where we're storing this. Now, one of the cool things that I want to work on in this area, too, and we just did in the last video on the um, turret video that we did with Zul'jin, is we got some electricity going. We need to get some electricity going and some lights going on the compound. So we're going to work on that. And um, Maybe not today, but eventually. Let's see. You're cheating me. You're cheating me. Who's not cheaty? Who's not the cheatiest? Let's go like this. One of these, one of those. Bam, bam, bam. Nail that ace that can't be stopped. Bam, like this. One of these, one of those. Bam. Bam! Nail the day escape stop! All right, so we got all that stuff going on there now. All right, so we need a fabricator, a smithy, uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff and things over here. I'm gonna get to building stuff, and then I shall be our bees, peeps! And we're back! I'm just gonna start putting some stuff and things away, guys. We got everything set up. I'm gonna show you all exactly what we did. Let's go ahead and get all of these guys in here. Like so, here's our fabricator. I had an idea. I'll tell you about my idea here in a second. Let's drop gas in there first. Let's go electronics, polymers, cementing paste, cementing paste. And let's throw gas in there first. Like so, all right. Then over here, we'll, we have our cooking pot. We will do this like so. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Oh, man. I don't feel like we have room for a gas grill. We'll have to think about this. We will have to think about this. I think I got an idea. So here's my idea. What I was thinking about doing is there was a whole idea earlier on where I was telling you guys where I was going to put a ladder right here. And it's going to go up and we're going to build an extension on and put more vaults. I don't see a reason why we can't just put vaults on that side. I was taking a look at Feller and how wide he is and how wide the vaults are. Um, I'm... I'm pretty much 100% sure that we would be able to fit vaults on the other side, too, if we ever needed additional storage space. And I think that that would be cool. I think that would be a cool little addition to the area eventually. Now, the amount of time it takes to make those, I'm not interested in doing it right away. But in the future, maybe it might be a thing. So I made the generator, and I got that in over here. Underneath of the generator, I did put a wire in. And what I want to do is wire underneath here for power and start getting some lights and different stuff and things like that going in there. Um, but really, like I was talking to you guys before, the next order of business is transponders. That's what we really need to work on. I don't want to lose any more dinos to weird stuff and things. You know, I'm talking to Zul'jin the other day about this, and I really wish there was a way that you could set, like, an anchor point for a dinosaur. Like, a dino, I should be able to say, like, this is your home. So, like, if you get attacked or go somewhere or do something, for whatever reason dinosaurs do things... If you need to go to the bathroom, this is where you come back. And um, I really wish that that would be a thing, um, but it isn't. So trackers are a thing. So if we go inside of here and take a look, navigation, we need 10 polymer, 14 electronics, 12 crystal, 3 metal ingots, 12 cement base. So I think we've got most of the stuff. Um, electronics we're going to need to make. Those are, what are those again? Obsidian and or silica pearls and metal, which I think we're out of. Um, let's check in the things chest. Do we have silica pearls in here? We have ass silica pearls. So we got to go do a bunch of harvesting of a bunch of stuff and things. Um, and we want to get at least, I want one on Air Force One, Beak Hole, Brian. So that's one, two, three. Swampy Feller, 119, four, five, six. Oh, wait, Beak Hole's already got one, but I think we need another one for Beak Hole because I want to change the, the frequency. Um, so let's say we need six of those guys. So that's a lot of stuff and things we got to get. Um, I'm going to get to working on it and then I'll be our bees peeps. And we're back and I haven't even got going yet. I found another stupid pigeon on the ground or in the water over there. So come over here, stupid pigeon. Just land. Some yeah. Kill it. Stupid pigeon's going to do. I want to see this man. Are you other stupid pigeon going to get on this action? 
I can't believe Swampy's not coming over. Can you do it, stupid pigeon? Versus Triceratops, epic battle. Oh, did you see the Triceratops? He's all squirreled out. He doesn't know what to do. What level is that trike? Wait, what, 84? 48, oh my gosh. It's up to you, stupid pigeon. I'm not gonna help you. Write a passage, you need to become a man. Is this gonna take forever? No, stupid pigeon did it! Oh my god, stupid pigeon, you are amazingly smart! Do you have any food? You got plenty of food. You're totally killing it. Stupid pigeon's maybe not as stupid as I thought. All right, so coming down here, we gotta get onto a uh, nose hole. Head out to the ocean. Oh, baby, get some silica pearls, yo. Let's do this. Okay then, uh, new species of dinosaur just discovered underwater dimorphodon dynamotapodons. They're the newest thing. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing that can happen, I guess. I didn't know that. Now I'm wondering if I go around looking for... Where do you go, Nosehole? Why are you... Okay, come right over here. Now I'm wondering if I go underneath the water looking for number two, if maybe he was just underwater or something. But yeah, I've actually been under here for a while looking for silica pearls, and all I'm finding is oil. I mean, check it out, Keeps. I got, like, heaps of oil now. We got tons and tons. Um, and then so far I found a few silica pearls. Uh, what do we got in there? 26. But we got, like, almost 400 oil. Which is cool. I like oil. I mean, oil's great, right? We're just gonna throw these rocks away for now. Uh, like a so, like a so, and like a that. But we need silica pearls, uh, a huge amount of them. So we're just gonna keep looking. But I thought I'd show you the underwater dimetapodon. And, uh, then we're off uh, to continue our search for pearls. BRBs, peeps! Oh. E epic battle! Epic battle! Nose hole! I was so scared for a second. Where you going, man? Kill all these guys for me, homie! Kill them! Get them! You're dead. You're dead. Also, while we were doing this underwater, a uh, nose hole accidentally killed a level 92 megalodon. I was like, no, nose hole, you so. Why are you so powerful? You're too strong. Nose hole too strong for the game. So, um, yeah, there's some more silica pearls and a couple more sharks. We'll just pop down here. We're getting a lot. We're getting a lot more. I found them more on the um, northern shore than I did on the western shore. So, we're getting there. We're getting there, peeps. And we died, we drowned, but look at this, we're all, we came out on VT's Ichthy. Look how fast he is, man, this is silly. Oh wait, we're like stuck or something on the ground. All right, hold on. I want to get a perspective so you guys can see how fast he is. All right, go, go into like a downwardly motion. Look at this. So we should be able to go over here and find Nosehole, no problem. I'm actually thinking we might even be able to get our stuff back. Um, it's gonna be pretty easy to find, I think. It should be right in this area. Fingers crossed. No soul should be fine. I don't think he's gonna die or anything. Um, I'm just kind of more worried about trying to find my gear. Um, which could be difficult. Could be very, very difficult. And we're back! I found no soul. What's up, man? Let's get that follow in. Come here, come here, follow, follow. Alright, so now he's following me. All right, so we found Nose Hole. He was out here killing stuff and things. Down over here is where I think I saw the dead bodies of the three. Oh, oh, I'm drowning again. Oh, no, 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 not this time. No, not this time, game. That's right, I'm smarter than you. I'm on fish now. Thank you, VT, or Nose Hole. And I borrowed VT's uh, Ichthy. But over, where is that thing, man? All right, hold on. All right, this should be over here. I found all the dead sharks, but I couldn't find my body. But also, check this out. I found a huge amount of silica pearls while I was on the ichthy. It's way easier to find them on this ichthy than it is to find them on, on the big plesiosaur. Oh, I think all my stuff is gone. All that oil? There's no way, man. No way! We gotta try to find it. Maybe. I'll see. And we're back! Swampy laid another egg! These are like the coolest eggs ever. I wish you could like petrify them and use them as decoration. They're so amazingly cool. Let's go ahead and squirt up inside of here. This is the bin. Oh wait, we are out of spark powder. Crap, oh that is no bueno. I think there's some... No, I have spark powder somewhere. Where did it go? Oh crap, I don't know. Those eggs still, should still last for a really long time. So we're back. There's structures, there's saddles, there's blueprints. Here's where we want to go. Over into here, we're gonna squirt some arrows in these guys. This is some stuff that I got grabbed off of 
uh, nose hole. We have our bonus set of armor that we had from where we crafted stuff and things with Zul'jin. We have some garbage, like, picks and stuff like that, which I think we're going to use for now. There's a pick. There's an axe. All right, check it out, peeps. We got stuff and things back. No hands. We got hands? Did we make any hands? I don't see any hands. Uh, chitin gloves. Oh, my God. We're going to be super stupid looking. Wait, are we? Yes. Stupid. I hate it, but it's fine. Um, all right. So I did get some silica pearls, and I do believe we're going to need more, though. I don't know why I'm sticking them there. There's our spark powder, too. We're just going to stick these over in the fabricator for now. Um, I'm going to go back out. I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff and things. I'm going to be a little bit more careful, and then I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back. We're making up a um, hundred of the electronics right now. We went up and got some more stuff and things back there. And we're going to grab some obsidian real quick, too, and squirt that in here. Let's see. With the existing cementing paste, we need a total of 60 polymers. So let's see here. We only need to make 20 of this, I think, right? Yeah. So let's just queue them up manually like a so. All right. So the polymer and electronics are good to go. We need 72 crystal. Do we have 72 crystal? We have 62 crystal. Okay, so we can go up top to the uh, forge. We have a bunch more crystal up there, unless we've already got some in here. No. So there's that. And then we need 71 cementing paste, which I think we're going to have enough. I'm not sure. Actually, now that I think about it, this is going to use two cementing paste. Each, each of those is going to use 20. We've got 120. That's going to leave us with 80. That means we'll have 71. All right. The math is real, peeps. Get ready. All right. So we got the electronics, the polymer, the metal, the cementing paste. We just need to get go grab more crystal and then let that thing do its thing and we'll be good. BRBs. <laughs> and we're back. Oh, it's still crafting. Okay. But I got some other stuff going on here. Uh, we got a couple pieces of chitin in here, 200, and then I had some stone lying around. So let's go ahead and grab 90. Uh, Hundred, like that. Squirt it in this mortar and pestle right here, like a so. This should make fifty more cementing paste just to have. Um, and then we got the crystal too. We needed what ten more of those, I think. So we'll just grab like half of that sack right there, and we'll squirt that in here as well, like this. Now, as this is done, I sh we should be able to go into navigation now and see here. We can craft five of these. It's going to be six here in a second, and that's exactly how many we needed. Oh, baby, I'm excited, man, because I now... Oh, you know what? We need to make one for mouth hole, too. Nose hole. Crap, we need seven. All right, for now, we'll just do six. <laughs> all right, three, two. All right, we have a little overproduction. We'll do craft all six of those guys. Now, inside of Hya, we should have our transceiver thingamabobbler. Where are you, transceiver thing? There you are, right there. So let's squirt that over here. Now, if we go ahead and... Hold it out. One of the things you may not know about this, we can just hold the bu button and then we can see like beak holes right there and then it goes away and then you have to re-wait on the time or whatever. But that's because when we were initially playing with this thing, we didn't set the transponder frequency and that you do that by pressing N and we can set it. And so that's what we're going to do. And I'm assuming with these guys too, if we go like this and then go like this and go like this. Oh, wait, are you done? Turn off, man. Don't be wasting gas. So, um, if we go like this, wait, why can't we, huh? Weird. Oh, okay. So now if I set the transponder frequency to 18, for instance, set. Okay. Now, if we go up to beak hole, well, let's try it on air force one. And then we Can't place GPS telesponder, no creature to attach to. It's right here, homie. He's a creature. There, we did it! Oh, you can actually see it on him? No, that's weird. There's someone on Beak Hole, is there? Oh, that one, like, went in him, but this one went on his arm. Now we can see on the 18 frequency. Can we see everybody still? Because we should be on the 18 frequency. Let's go head down here real quick. Turn green, homie. Let's see if we can see all the ones that are back at base. Why is you know a thing? Okay, cool. We can only see our guys. All right, this is sweet. This is working out great. So we'll squirt one. Uh, Swampy's butt. Oh, it did go right up his butt. Oh, no way. That's so cool. We 
didn't notice it when I first placed it on B coal, but that's really, really neat. Get on there, man. Does it stay like forever? Ah, oh, so cool. Let's put it right up his butt. Oh, it went in his butt. And now we can see 118 and all these guys. Let's go over here and do Brian's. We got to talk to Brian anyway. Let's see, let's see what's going on, man. Hey, Brian, what's up? Hey, Flynn, what's up, man? Holy crap, what the crap is that? Oh, my God, dude, that cute. That hurt. No, it's fine, dude. It's no big deal. Dude, that thing is inside my arm. What did you do to me, man? Oh, I just put a transponder on you. Oh, that tickled. <laughs> what is that? That's so funny and tickled. Oh, no, it's a transponder. This way, if you get lost... Oh, you just crapped. No, the... Yeah, this had to go. A number... A number dose. <laughs> number dose. <laughs> All right, Brian, let's get serious here. Now we can track you, man. Now if you ever get lost, we'll be able to find you. It's going to be awesome. That's cool, man. Thanks, man. I mean, besides that, you just, like, shot it into my arm, which was weird. But other than that, thank you, I guess. So anyway, I thought you'd been doing some building over there, man. You want to give me, want to throw me around, man? Yeah, sure, man. Check it out. Let's come over here. You can see the new stuff and things. Hey, what's up, 119? Hey, what's up, feller? These guys are like the cool guys at school. They're so popular. You like hanging out with them. Yeah, you know, they hang out. They help us out. Flip Gator. Flip Gator. Listen. Listen to me, Flip Gator. I'm listening, man. I'm listening. Dude, this place is amazing, dude. Oh, you like it? It's pretty cool. I wouldn't say it's amazing. This is the best house I've seen. I mean, really, pretty much the best thing I've seen in Ark. Well, I mean, I don't. I disagree with you. I don't think it's the best thing in Ark at all. Have you seen Armitage's house? You know, the place that's on the server? Uh, no. Yeah, it's pretty baller. And there's some guys online that have been some really great houses, man. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and I mean, those ones are probably great, but they're not your house. No, yeah, but they're not, they're not my place. I do have vaults. I think those are pretty cool. Those vaults, dude, are so cool. They're just, like, so amazing. You can hold stuff in them and stuff, and, like, you can probably put, like, lots of blenders in there or something like that. Hey, hey, Brian, no blenders, man. You know what I mean? Look at your hands, dude. No blenders, remember? I know, Flip Gator. I know. I just, I just like them. No, you can't. No more blenders, man. So, all right, we're going to take you home. All right, buddy? Yeah, that's cool, man. It was cool hanging out with you guys. One, eight, 19, feller, swampy. See you guys later. I'm going to... Go over here with the not cool kid. No, you're cool, man. What are you talking about, Brian? Don't worry. You're cool, man. You're totally fine. So, yeah, now I got your tracker. I will never you lose you, man. It's going to be great. All right, man. Thanks so much. If you see anybody uh, that's cool, tell them to come over. Um. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll do that, Brian. All right, man. Peace out, homie. All right, peace out, Flip Gator. But that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentle peeps. We got some stuff and things organized over here. We got our transponders built. It took a little longer than I thought because of the death and having to go do it a second time. But we did it. So, anywho, so if you guys liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and show your support for Slipgate or Narc stuff and things. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you. I got to dye my armor. We need that gold armor, yo.